maps uses six colors and they are light silver, platinum, pea green, fresh air, orange yellow from a Crayola set and banana mania. I think we can do better. This is our very familiar Google Maps. We've all used them to find our ways through other cities that we may have been to and very honestly our own cities considering how large these get and how complicated they are. We even use them in our presentations but more than the regular map view we use a satellite image view right. To help you with a 6000 pixel by 6000 pixel image without labels or anything depending on what you want. We have a web tool that you can use and get that get that as a raster image to include into your presentation straight away. But the regular map view has a lot of information that we could actually use and put into our presentations. But there's invariably too much information in the regular map view. But what if we could hide certain layers of the map? What if we could hide all the names or all the labels as they are called? What if we could highlight certain features by changing the color of it? Introducing map styles with google.com <laughs> Okay, sorry. But uh, seriously, this is awesome. This is one of the coolest things I've found. And I have been using it for quite a while. So let's just jump straight in and create a style. This is your regular map view that we are all familiar with. It allows you certain themes, select themes it says. So let's just immediately try them out. We can try the silver theme, which is cool, I suppose. A retro theme has a more Western vibe to it. The dark theme, which I think will actually go well with quite a few of our presentations more than uh, the regular colored view does. The night view, which is a slightly more blue and dark green kind of effect with the labels in bright. And aubergine, which is a much more blue, which I think looks, it's almost glowing, which I like. Then there are these uh, sliders, which you can play with as well. So let's just try them out. You can move the sliders and the detail either reduces or increases at certain zoom levels, evidently. And you can control them. Right? And this obviously controls it at all zoom levels. So let's just turn everything back on. This I think is cool or by itself. So let's just close off all the landmarks, take off all the labels and just get a clean map of where is, no, let's, let's go to some interesting place that we know. Let's say Paris. Now this is a complicated city, but it's also pretty damn cool. I like it. I like the road patterns in this. So let's say that this is the kind of map that we want. This is central Paris and thinking. Full screen. And here you go. Now you can take a screenshot of this and use them in whichever presentation you want. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That's rather simple as well. It takes you less than two minutes to do something like this. But whenever we see something called more options, we should click on it. That gives you all of this. To play with this, however, we should probably start with standard, switch on everything to regular, and then and go to more options. You will notice that all of these are all the different bits of information that are there in this map. So administrative details, landscape points of interest, roads, transit, and water layers. And you can change every one of them. So let's try, let's start with roads. When you click on any one of these, you get these details. 
these are the controllers of the details here. Every bit of information has the geometry and the label. The label is the text or the icon. The geometry is the shape that is actually shaded in, right? Let's turn off. So once I click on labels, you get this. In the visibility, if I click on hidden, all the road labels disappear. Come back to geometry. Here you have two things. One is the fill and the other one is the stroke. For anyone who's used Photoshop and other image manipulation kind of softwares, you understand what these mean. If you're looking at this park, the green thing is the fill. If you're looking at the roads, the dark gray line, or, a, or rather the light gray line, I suppose, that goes around the road itself is the stroke. And we can change each one if we want. So let's say in our fill, we want to change the color to yellow, which is sure, okay. And stroke to, let's say color, let's make this black. There we go. And that's how you change literally any one of these layers. That's it. It's as simple as that. And then you can play with it. You can go insane. There are a few more things here, which we'll try right now. One is the line weight, which again, we should all be familiar with, with the amount of AutoCAD work we do. And zero line weight. And then saturation. Or oh, actually let's do fill and say saturation and bring that down. So uh, this is just like our regular Photoshop colors. We can uh, desaturate colors if we so choose. So this very much works like the hue, saturation and brightness or lightness here. So effectively gives you the entire range of uh, colors that you might need and allows you full control over it, which is beautiful. So play with this, play with this a lot more and uh, try out all these different features. So let's, and once you've finished with this, just click on finish. You can either copy this portion, which we will get to later, or as of now, just go full screen and take a screen, uh, take a shot of whatever you want. Having said that, now let's create a map from scratch, let's say. So let's refresh the page and start from scratch and create a full map in like a correct way, let's say. So let's come back to map styles with google.com, create a style with standard selected. Let's go to more options and look at all the different uh, layers. Uh, let's go to all, all and hidden, gray screen. There's nothing there. So literally all the information is hidden. What this now allows us to do is control only what we want, which is very, very nice. So let's look at, we've already seen roads. Let's look at water, maybe all shown. Now, if we zoom out, this is a water body map of the world and whichever area you want. I want this area. Let's switch off the labels hidden. Then go to geometry, fill and change the color to wow, that's that hurts my eye. A deep blue maybe. Ooh, that looks nice. Doesn't it? That's a poster right there. Welcome to the deltas of the Ganges at the Sundarbans. It's one of my favorite places in the world. But yes, you can play with this map to do whatever you want. And now that you have a base layer which is empty, you can add only what you need. So what color will you choose today?
by the way we are in my bathroom hope you enjoyed that uh please like share and subscribe and also click on that bell icon so you get notified for our next few videos see you next time in our legend it is said that goddess ganga's descent from the heavens would have split the earth had lord shiva not tamed her torrent by tying it into his ash smeared locks to hear this story is to see the river in a certain way as a heavenly braid for instance an immense rope of water unfurling through a wide and thirsty plain that there is a further twist to the tale becomes apparent only in the final stages of the river's journey and this part of the story always comes as a surprise because it is never told and thus never imagined it is this there is a point at which the braid comes undone when lord shiva's matted hair is washed apart into a vast knotted tangle once past that point the river throws off its bindings and separates into hundreds maybe thousands of tangled strands